you know what? Uh, any excuse to teach science, good excuse. You got that? And and tomorrow something happens. What happens tomorrow, Scotty? Yes. The leprechauns are coming. The leprechauns are coming. Now, these dastardly individuals mess up the house, and we'll talk about that just a little bit later. But sometimes on St. Patrick's Day, we get snow. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be in today's for or tomorrow's forecast. Right, so we thought we'd trick them a little bit. Oh, right? okay. So we got a couple things that like you can maybe do. First of all, uh, what are we going to need? We need some... Instant snow. We need instant some instant snow. snow. That's right. One so we need favorite. some absolute. Uh, my favorite too. <laughs> and uh, so we need some of this. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to color it. So the secret to coloring it. And I know uh, many of our viewers have played with the material before. So we're going to put some some of the oh, food coloring down color inside. It. Yeah. So now watch this technique. Now you just take some snow and you put it in there like this. And so it's now it's not going to puff up. But what it is going to do is going to color. So I'm going to pick it up like this, okay. and we're going to kind of mix it around. Well, I didn't Fair know we could make colored snow. How is that? Is nice? That? All right. Fair so a little <laughs> stir it around, stir it around. so excited. Oh, boy. <laughs> now, is this going to be fun? Now, we're going to leave it out for the leprechauns tomorrow, right, Scotty? Okay. All right. Yeah. And we're going to tell them just to mix the liquid, right? Uh -huh. All right. So this sits on the counter here like this. Uh -huh. Got it? You, or do you want to hold it for this so we can show them this way? Okay. okay. And then right. we're going to need to have this. So, Mr. Kobrick, you will be in charge of the water. Oh, excellent. We're going to pour it part. all in at once. Okay, you ready? So I never study. believe this the first ready, time ready, I saw so it. Are we ready? It. Ready? Here we go. All right, here we go. And away oh, we, we go. Keep going, here it goes. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Nice and job. And. and... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you get a little of a mess, don't we? So we think we'll trick the leprechaun a little bit. Hold out your hand, Scotty. Hold out your hand. Oh, nice job. We'll, we'll trick those leprechauns with no problem well, at all, how right? I didn't know we could color instantly. So now snow? we can just do a quick little color on it and it will go. And of course, I don't know if it's more fun for the leprechaun or if it's more fun for Scotty. Scotty, there you go. There's yours. <laughs> and, the, and the food coloring will do that very, very nicely for us. So is that kind of fun? How fun all right? is that? All right. So uh, there is one other thing. We we're kind of thinking that it would be fun if you had some carnations. So if you have some carnations and you want to color the carnations, I found some tricks to doing oh. that. Scotty, would you tell us a little bit about this? Because we started it um, today and, and Tell us what we have to do. Well, you have to put the food covering in it, okay. and the uh, um, water climb, water and food covering climbs up the stem yep. like a ladder. Yep. And then when it gets to the leaves, the water evaporates, but the food coloring stays there. Okay. Yeah, a little tricky. And this, yeah. is the, this is what we yeah, did. Yeah. So let me show you the secret. Look at this. Try this one right over here. Uh, this one we just started about three hours ago. And now what the florists tell me is this: Look, fresh sir. cut. And they say do this first. Watch this. Dry these out a little bit, as in take them out of the water and oh. keep them out for a couple Make hours. They're going to be huh? thirsty. Right. Then cut them and mix a lot of food coloring. So you can see how dark this is. How so cool a lot of food is coloring that? with warm water and look at what happens when it kind of comes up. Isn't that fun? Those are yeah, just gorgeous. Great? And Those this one here, great. of course, we have Aww. to have a little experiment. So here's our little experiment that okay. we'll try. We've split the stem. So you might remember that we had a guest one time that showed us how she split the stem. So split it. In this one here, we're going to have yellow food coloring and this one blue. Oh, for we're going to see if we're going to get green or not. Yeah. That split. Is that fun? Isn't and so we're going to kind of see it that way. That's fun. Now, there is one last thing. What happens at our house besides all the water? The um, the food, the um, milk turns green, and the um, frosting for our orange rolls turns right. green. Right, and if you go to the faucet, what happens? The, when you turn on the fa when you turn on the sink, the water that comes out of the faucet is green. No way. <laughs> and That's unfortunately, right. we're out of time to explain how that happens. Uh -oh. But you might want to go to the website <laughs> if you know what I mean, and know how the I don't know how the leprechauns do that, but maybe the website. Maybe would the help website you. will tell us. So what yep. you you want to do is you want to go to the four o'clock page and look for the colorful Spangler Science logo, stevespanglerscience.com, and there will be an you can actually turn the water in your house green. Well, this will I happen. don't know how they do it, but you just go to the faucet and open it up, and somehow the water that comes out is green. There's some pictures of little Jack and what happened. We discovered that, all right.